In this brand new video, you will now discover dictionary in Python. Please, do not forget to smash that like button, for the YouTube algorithm, since it does really help supporting us, and providing new free content, once a week. Are you interested to be part of this community? All the links are in the description below. Now, let's play this video. Dictionaries are a very useful and widely used data structure, in Python. As a developer, you will often be in situations where you will need to iterate through a dictionary, while you perform some actions on its key-value pairs. When you are working with dictionaries, it is likely that you will want to work with both the keys and the values. One of the most useful ways to iterate through a dictionary in Python, is by using items, which is a method that returns a new view of the dictionary's items, and will contain all of the key-value pairs as tuples key value inside of a list. On each iteration, the current tuple will be unpacked in the form of key, value, so you can either access the key, or the value, individually. If you just need to work with the keys of a dictionary, then you can use keys, function, which is a method that returns a new view object, containing the dictionary's keys. On each iteration, the current item will only be the key, not its associated value. If you use a dictionary in a for loop, it traverses the keys of the dictionary, by default. But it is also common to only use the values, to iterate through a dictionary in Python. One way to do that is to use values, which returns a view with the values of the dictionary. On each iteration, the current item will only be the value, not its associated key. Eventually, you may want to find how many key value pairs a dictionary has. In that case, you do not have to iterate through a dictionary and count each item, but use the function len, which returns the number of items in a dictionary. Awesome, it's your time to practice now. Let's assume you will have a dictionary, containing the exact same key value pairs, that we have used in all of the previous examples. First, declare this dictionary, my dict, and add a few items inside of it, age equals 27, job equals YouTuber, my key equals like, comment, subscribe, and name equals Digital Academy. Then, you want to check whether a specific key, my key, is inside this dictionary. And, only if it is, iterate throughout the dictionary. Print the value of this key when found, then stop the entire loop as soon as you encountered it. Otherwise, if you did not find this key, print an error message. Here is a solution, and may vary from yours. First, check whether my key is in the dictionary's keys, so you don't have to iterate through the dictionary if not necessarily, and save some time to your program. Then, if this expression returns true in the if statements, iterate though the dictionary using for loop. Combined with the items function, you will get a tuple key value for each iteration. Unpack it into two variables, k and v, so that you can later access them individually. Now, you want to check whether the current key k is the key you were looking for, if k equals my key. If so, you will enter the if statement, and print a success message, with the value associated to this key. Plus, you will break, as soon as you encountered your key. Since a key is unique in a dictionary, it won't continue with the next items, and saves some time during its execution. On the other hand, if my underscore key was not found inside of your dictionary, it will not even execute the for loop, but will enter the else clause and print an error message. And that's it, congrats. You have just written your first dictionary, iterated through this dictionary using for loop, and found a specific key's value. Notice that all of this code was not necessarily, since if my key was part of the dictionary's key, you could have get access to its value without even iterating through it. But that was a little exercise, so you can practice using for loops, if statements and dictionary, all of them combined, together. Please, do not forget to watch the videos about for loops, and the conditional if statements, if you need help understanding one of the core concepts, in Python. If you like this video, please, do not forget to give a thumb up, and subscribe our channel. Digital Academy, learn free. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like, comment, and share.